Howdy, thanks for joining us for devotions today. Our reading for this morning is from Ezekiel 34, verses 11 to 16 and 20 through 24. For thus says the Lord God, Behold, I, I myself will search for my sheep and will seek them out. As a shepherd seeks out his flock when he's among his sheep that have been scattered, so will I seek out my sheep, and I will rescue them from all places where they have been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness. And I'll bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries and I'll bring them into their own land. And I'll feed them on the mountains of Israel, by the ravines, and in all the inhabited places of the country. I'll feed them with good pasture, and on the mountain heights of Israel shall be their grazing land. There they shall lie down in good grazing land, and on rich pasture they shall feed on the mountains of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep, and I myself will make them lie down, declares the Lord God. I will seek the lost, I will bring back the strayed, and I will bind up the injured, and I will strengthen the weak, and the fat and the strong I will destroy. I will feed them in justice. Therefore, thus says the Lord God to them, Behold, I, I myself will judge between the fat sheep and the lean sheep, because you push with side and shoulder and thrust at all the weak with your horns till you have scattered them abroad. I will rescue my flock. They shall no longer be a prey. And I will judge between sheep and sheep, and I will set up over them one shepherd, my servant David, and he shall feed them. He shall feed them and be their shepherd, and I, the Lord, will be their God. And my servant David shall be prince among them. I am the Lord. I have spoken. One of my professors in college there at Seward, Nebraska, used to say that, uh, well, he would remind us that anytime you say goodbye, uh, what you're saying is an abbreviated form of God be with you. And so he says, kind of the notion is, well, uh, I'm going to be apart from you, but I'm entrusting you into the hands of God until uh, we're back together again and I can take care of you again. And that's sort of what I see going on here in this reading from Ezekiel. This is from uh, Christ the King Sunday, the Old Testament lesson. And you see kind of the the ability of God to work versus the inability of human beings to make it happen. So <clears throat> we see a lack of justice, and God says, I will feed them all in justice. We see sheep being victimized. Um, he says, you push with side and shoulder and thrust at the weak with your horns till you've scattered them abroad. So the sheep are being victimized. They're being bullied around in this kind of thing, and we can't make it stop. But the Lord comes in, and he says, I'm going to feed you with justice. He says, I will rescue my flock. They will no longer be a prey. And that seems like a particularly appropriate text for uh, Thanksgiving while we have this uh, extra coronavirus restrictions and things like that. We're not able to gather together like we'd like to. We aren't able to get together with our family and friends. And at Thanksgiving, and well, any holiday, but I feel like Thanksgiving's a special one too, where we're accustomed to getting together. We want to get together with family and friends, and we're just not able to make it happen. But we have our promise from the Lord that He is going to make it happen. The Lord is always able to make it happen. And He promises that at the end of time, He will gather up His people. He'll gather up His sheep. We kind of have this image of the sheep that have been in a flock, and then maybe it's a bear or a wolf or some kind of wild animal comes in and the sheep scatter because they're so terrified for their lives. And so you're, you know, you're just kind of blindly running because all you know is that there's a predator on your back and you'd better hustle away uh, because this isn't safe anymore. And so you just run in whatever direction you can. And the, the country out there in Israel is awfully hilly. There's caves. There's kind of uh, cliffs every now and again too. So like you can't you can't depend on being able to find the sheep. Who could ever do that? But the good shepherd, the Lord says, I myself will search out my sheep. I'll find them and I'll bring them back. I'll rescue them from all the places they've been scattered on the day of thick clouds and darkness. When the predator came and scattered all my sheep, that happened. But I'm going to bring them back, he says. And then there's all this language where he says, I, I will do this. I myself will be the shepherd of my, of my sheep. I myself will make them lie down, declares the Lord. I will seek the lost. I will bring back the strayed. I will bind up the injured. I will strengthen the weak and the fat and the strong I'll destroy. I will feed them in justice. It's all this, I will, I will, I will, I will. Because he knows that if it depends on us and how well we're able to do things, it's not going to work out. But he says, I'm going to make this happen because I'm the Lord and you can trust my word because I can actually do do this thing. He's the only one that can make it happen, and he promises us that one day he will gather us again. So as we celebrate Thanksgiving, we're thankful to God for all sorts of different blessings that he gives to us. But let's especially thank him this time around as we're 
faced with the prospect of Thanksgiving, you know, just alone kind of by household in that way, let's look extra forward to the day that he will gather up all his sheep forever. And we'll all share an eternity celebrating and giving thanks to our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the blessings that you give us, uh, especially the food that you provide for us, the clothes, the home, the family and friends and everything, Lord. We thank you most especially uh, for your son Jesus, whose death and resurrection means that we have salvation. We ask that as we celebrate Thanksgiving, uh, apart from so many that we'd love to get together with, you would remind us and hold us in the hope that one day you will gather up all your people to spend eternity gathered up together with you. We ask that you'd hold us in that hope, Lord, that one day you will raise us to live with you for eternity. And we ask in the name of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us. You all have a good one. Happy Thanksgiving.